Truth Warrior is in the house. Hi. Hi. What do you got for me? You just said someone jump up on the hot seat, and here I am. <laughs> All right. Well, let's have a conversation. What would you like to talk about? Um, well, first of all, um, my condolences on Thank the you. loss of your son. I lost my daughter, so I know how you feel. Um, oh, can I, I give you a big I'm hug? There it. are no words. <laughs> and you said, so why do you follow my, my channel? Oh, by the way, and I'm, I'm sincere and there are no words. Why do you follow my channel? I just found you in a, in a suggested feed. So, and I watched a couple okay. of the videos and okay. I was like, yeah, <laughs> this house. Well, let me, like, okay, but oh, there's, so I, I'm sorry to interrupt. So you, you, it came up in your feed. Are you single? Are you in a relationship? I mean, like what, I mean, I'm a dating and relationship coach. So there's obviously some interest in what I watch. Why do you watch my channel? Well, I'm, by the way dating is now um, it's not like it was back in the day when i dated and yeah i've i've done dating sites and all i yeah. got was scammers and stuff so i just i actually you know i actually just withdrew from all of them because i don't trust them now because of that trust issues that was okay actually so trust not issues <laughs> well that was okay. created by the fact that I, <laughs> you know You're created by the fact what it was created by the fact that I was willing to give it a try. And then I, it just issue for me because all I got was the wrong people, but okay. I had probably had so, the wrong app. So you probably, well, first off, all the apps are the same. They're just different portals. So there's no different from one to the other. I mean, for the most mm -hmm. part, except for there's a one app called field, which is a genuine hookup app for people who are seeking sex, but all the other apps, even Tinder, you know, all apps are just portals to meet people. So mm -hmm. first off, I do want to see, I, by the way, I want to just share with everybody, we are having a real conversation with one another. And I just want to go back to the title of this video is mm -hmm. text them, like, this is how you engage is you ask deeper questions. So I've been asking you deeper questions. I want to, I want to model this for everybody who's watching. Okay. So here's mm -hmm. the thing, truth warrior. Yes, sir. Most likely in your life, you are not meeting single eligible people to be asked out on a date. Okay. In other words, I highly doubt men are coming up to you and asking you out. Okay. Maybe that does happen. Um, mm. But I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's rare. Okay. Um, mm. Is that, does that, is that a true statement? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So if you want a significant relationship and you have to want it, Okay. You have to want it. Putting yourself on the dating apps is one of the, that's the number one portal to meet people. Number one. Number two, if you have inherent trust issues, if you have inherent trust issues, that's not a man's fault. That's not on the man to, to change that. You have to work on that within yourself. I agree. Yeah. Because, I agree. um, he, he, it's like, I mean, yes, you want a man who isn't going to trigger your trust issues. Okay. <laughs> now I recognize right. that now my suspicion is your dating profile was probably poorly done because 99 out of hundred profiles are poorly done. I say that, I say that as a statistic, you could be the exception, but not the rule, but I'm going to guess that you are in the rule. Okay. So poor effort mm -hmm. is going to generate poor results. Okay. That's what is going to happen. It doesn't mean that if you put stellar effort, you're still not going to get mediocre people uh, or, or because most people are mediocre in their effort. You're going to get that. But you set yourself apart when you put quality effort in your profile. And the title of this video is about putting quality effort in your engagement with another human being. So my instincts tell me you haven't been taught this there's nothing wrong with that. None of us have been taught this. This is something we have to learn because the, mm -hmm. the reality is we no longer live in an environment where people are just going to walk up to us like in the movie Notebook or whatever that you're going to, or, you know, even Hitch where it's going to happen that way. Correct. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions for me before we wrap up? I feel it's just, I guess I, after the negative experiences that I've had, yeah. I just uh, concluded, this is just an opinion, okay? 
I concluded sure? that online dating is too superficial and I just don't want to be with sex. So truth warrior, let me ask you a question. I went to five weddings in the last five years. All of them met online. Would, would you say the same thing to those people? No, I'd say, how did, how did you get it to, how did you find someone that was worth it? Because it's, well, me, I just find and by the way, people. I, yeah. So, so now I will tell you that those are just five out of a bet. I will tell you that my clients all meet men online and I've got engagements, weddings. I mean, I've, I mean, I mean, they're all experiencing really great relationships. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. chances are maybe it's the effort you put in. That is the reason why you're getting poor results. Okay. And and I look at, I mean, it's got to be tough. I, you and I both belong to a shitty club, the one that's lost children. Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That's, that's so the, I'm going to read to you. I'm going to read to you. I'm going to read to you the opening line in my dating profile. Okay. The opening line in my dating profile. For the past five years after losing my son, I've been on a deep exploration to find out who I really am beyond fear and ego, a journey of self-love, seeking a marriage-minded empty nester who wants to explore the depths of love. Swipe right if personal development and spiritual practices are important to you, including plant medicine journeys to explore deeper consciousness and expand to the divine. You ideally you have a connection with source or spirit, a desire to heal from childhood wounds, adult traumas, basically to grow emotionally as a person and as a couple. That's a pretty deep conversation I started with. Yes, it it's is probably yeah. going to turn off 90% of women, for all I know. But that See, I'm, I'm not looking to, to date 90% of kid. women. I'm huh? I'm afraid to mention that I've lost a child. So you're ahead of me on that. I am. Well, why be afraid of it? It's by the way, listen, it's already there. You <laughs> right. can't change it. That's right. By the way, that might create engagement with someone. That might create um, engagement with someone. Uh, what kind of engagement? I really you know what, like, what like a lot of people say to me, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. That must be tough. That's, by the way, that's sincere engagement with another human being. Oh, man. I've heard that a lot. Though. You're right about it. I'm just offering you a perspective. I'm not right. suggesting there's a right or wrong here. It's just simply a perspective. Right. Right. No, I, so I get it. Improve yeah. your dating profile. Write something of depth, uh, you know, create engagement with that person using my nice technique, which you just learned. Try it for another 30 days and see if you see some improvement. But again, create a quality presentation of yourself and use my nice method. And you might, by the way, you might meet a great guy. Isn't it worth the effort? Can I have you got your, nothing else going on. I sit on the toilet and I do this shit all day long. Shit, can get I have it? your opening line? <laughs> What? It sounds better. You know, I have your opening line. It sounds better than mine would be. <laughs> okay. All right. You go back and rewind that and write that. Truth Warrior, can I reach into the camera and give you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of appreciation? Yes. Thank you. And I'm giving you a hug. There are no words to what you experienced. We belong to a shitty Same club. I'm sending I, you a lot of love. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, that's brave of her to go on here and share her truth with us, truth warrior, particularly for those of us that lost a child. We belong to a really crappy club. My instincts tell me that her disappointment in the online dating world is a reflection of probably poor effort. Sadly, most human beings put mediocre crappy effort or poor effort at best, okay? If you want to change this narrative, I start this, go back to the how I started this conversation. Shift your mindset. It's raining great men. It's raining great men. It's raining great men. Online dating is fucking awesome because the, the opposite of that will only... It's like that white Tesla I talk about. You'll just keep seeing them over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm inviting you to change that narrative to red Porsche. 
You're not going to see that many of them, but you know what? They're out there. You're not going to see as many of Porsche Carreras, but they're out there. All right, folks, text a man this when you're dating online. The nice method, name, inquisitive, compliment, energy, enthusiasm, emoji, um, emotion. That will shift your narrative out there. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know if it is. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that uh, like. Please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me directly, schedule a link to. There's a link below to schedule a discovery call to join my group called Midlife Love and Mastery. To find me on Instagram to get my book recommendations, all listed below. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic shot at the barrack of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a source, of, great source of love. And we can all use more love in our lives. I want to thank Ellie and Debbie and Sharon and Truth Warrior and all those that donated and Brown Canita, uh, Beach Lover, um, Sally, uh, ba -ba -ba, Truth Warrior, Diane. Uh, see.